everybody, I'm the classic and retro gamer. Get ready to dive into a world of pure terror as we unveil the top 10 scariest games ever created. These games are not for the faint of heart. They are the ones that will leave you sleeping with the lights on and jumping at every creak and groan in your house. If you're brave enough to join me, then let's get started. This is gonna be a wild ride through the darkest corners of the gaming world. Buckle up. We kick off our list with a true masterpiece of horror, Silent Hill 2. This isn't just a game, it's a descent into the depths of psychological torment, a place where reality blurs and your deepest fears take shape. You play as James Sunderland, a man drawn to the fog-shrouded town of Silent Hill by a letter from his dead wife. The atmosphere is thick with dread. Every step you take in the eerie silence punctuated by the distant screams of sirens and the unsettling radio static, and the creatures, they're not just monsters, they're manifestations of guilt, trauma, and the darkest recesses of the human psyche. Remember Pyramid Head? That hulking, terrifying embodiment of, well, we won't spoil it for you, but let's just say he's become an icon of horror for a reason. Silent Hill 2 doesn't just scare you. It messes with your mind, leaving you questioning everything and everyone, including yourself. This game is a slow burn, but trust me, it sticks with you long after the credits roll. Daddy's coming. We need to go. We need to go now! Next up, we're diving headfirst into the Baker family's humble abode with Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. This game marked a return to form for the Resident Evil franchise, ditching the action-heavy gameplay of its predecessors and bringing back the series' survival horror roots. Remember the first time you stepped foot in that dilapidated plantation house? The air was thick with the stench of decay and the feeling that something was deeply, deeply wrong. And then there's the Baker family themselves, a collection of truly deranged individuals who are as terrifying as they are memorable. Resident Evil 7 embraced a first-person perspective, putting you right in the middle of the horror. You weren't just watching Ethan Winters experience these horrors, you were living them right alongside him. Resident Evil 7 was a masterclass in atmosphere, tension, and good old-fashioned jump scares. Prepare to descend into the depths of madness with Amnesia, The Dark Descent. This game took the horror genre by storm with its unique approach to fear and its terrifying monster mechanics. You play as Daniel, a man who wakes up in a dark and foreboding castle with no memory of who he is or how he got there. But here's the catch. You can't fight back against the creatures that lurk in the shadows. Your only option is to run and hide, desperately trying to avoid the gaze of the unseen horrors that stalk the halls. This mechanic, combined with the game's oppressive atmosphere and sanity system, created a truly terrifying experience, Amnesia. The Dark Descent is a game that preys on your deepest fears, the fear of the unknown, the fear of the dark, the fear of what you can't see.
Outlast, The Horrors of Mount Massive Asylum. Next up, we're venturing into the dilapidated halls of Mount Massive Asylum with Outlast. This game is not for the squeamish, it's a brutal, visceral experience that will leave you feeling disturbed and deeply unsettled. You play as Miles Upshur, a freelance journalist investigating reports of horrific experiments and inhumane conditions at the asylum. Armed with nothing but your trusty video camera, you must navigate the asylum's darkened corridors, avoiding the deranged and violent patients that roam free. Outlast is a relentless assault on your senses, a game that bombards you with horrific imagery and disturbing encounters. Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly, A Haunting in the Village. Get ready for a chilling journey to a haunted Japanese village with Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly. This game takes the fear of the unknown and combines it with the ancient dread of vengeful spirits, creating an experience that will send shivers down your spine. You play as one of two twin sisters, Mio and Mayu, who find themselves trapped in a village shrouded in darkness and haunted by a tragic past. Armed with only a special camera, the Camera Obscura, you must confront and capture the spirits that haunt the village, unraveling the mystery of the Crimson Butterfly ritual and fighting to survive the night. Fatal Frame 2. Crimson Butterfly is a haunting and unforgettable horror experience, and it earns its place on our list. There should be a security detail in here. Yeah, well there's not. There's nobody here. Dead Space, a necromorph nightmare in space. In the vast and unforgiving expanse of space, terror takes on a whole new meaning with Dead Space. This sci-fi horror masterpiece throws you into the middle of a necromorph infestation on the USG Ishimura, a massive mining spaceship, and it's up to you to survive the night. You play as Isaac Clark, an engineer who soon finds himself fighting for his life against hordes of grotesque, reanimated corpses. The necromorphs are unlike any enemy you've encountered before. They're not zombies, they're twisted abominations, their flesh rearranged into deadly weapons. Dead Space's strategic dismemberment system added a whole new layer of intensity to the combat, forcing you to stay calm under pressure and target specific limbs to bring down your foes. Dead Space is a masterclass in sci-fi horror, and it definitely deserves its spot on our list. <laughs> Out. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. <laughs> Are you sure the only you is you? Sometimes the scariest things are the ones we never get to fully experience. PT, the playable teaser for the cancelled Silent Hills project, is a perfect example of this. This short but unforgettable demo took the gaming world by storm with its incredibly eerie atmosphere, mind-bending puzzles, and terrifying imagery. You find yourself trapped in a seemingly endless loop of hallways, each repetition revealing subtle changes, unsettling details, and increasingly disturbing events. The game's photorealistic graphics and binaural audio design created an incredibly immersive and terrifying experience, leaving players feeling like they were truly trapped in that horrifying house. Imagine the feeling of walking down the same hallway for the tenth time, the flickering lights casting eerie shadows on the walls, the radio crackling with cryptic messages, and then, out of the corner of your eye, you see it, a fleeting glimpse of something unnatural, something that sends shivers down your spine. PT was a masterclass in psychological horror, a terrifying glimpse into what could have been one of the greatest horror games ever made. Its cancellation left a void in the hearts of horror fans everywhere, but its legacy lives on as a testament to the power of atmosphere, sound design, and psychological terror. My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Taylor. <laughs> Thank you.
Alien isolation, hunted by a perfect organism. In the cold, unforgiving depths of space, no one can hear you scream. Alien Isolation takes the terror of Ridley Scott's iconic film and translates it into a heart-pounding game of cat and mouse. You play as Amanda Ripley, daughter of Ellen Ripley, who embarks on a mission to uncover the truth behind her mother's disappearance, only to find herself trapped aboard a space station with a xenomorph. The xenomorph is unpredictable, learning your patterns, hunting you relentlessly, and forcing you to stay one step ahead. It's a game that truly captures the essence of the Alien franchise, and it earns its place on our list. The Evil Within, a descent into madness. Prepare to enter a world of nightmares with The Evil Within. This game is a relentless descent into madness, a grotesque and terrifying journey through the mind of a brilliant but twisted individual. You play as Sebastian Castellanos, a detective investigating a series of gruesome murders at a local hospital, only to find himself trapped in a nightmarish world created by a powerful entity known as Ruvik. The Evil Within is not for the faint of heart. It's a game filled with disturbing imagery, grotesque creatures, and psychological horror that will leave you questioning your sanity. It's a wild, unforgettable ride through the darkest corners of the human psyche, and it deserves its spot on our list. In this quiet house, between bookshelves and rows of paintings, lives an artist. Something happened here. Something so frightening, so deeply unnerving. Something wicked. Layers of Fear, the horrors of artistic obsession. And finally, we come to Layers of Fear, a game that explores the dark side of artistic obsession and the horrors that lie within the human mind. You play as an unnamed painter, slowly losing his grip on reality as he works on his magnum opus. As you explore the ever-shifting mansion, you'll uncover the painter's tragic past, his descent into madness, and the dark secrets that haunt his family. Layers of Fear is a masterclass in environmental storytelling, using the mansion itself to reflect the painter's deteriorating mental state. It's a fitting end to our list of the top 10 scariest games ever released, a reminder that sometimes the most terrifying monsters are the ones we create ourselves. Well, there you have it, folks. Our top 10 scariest games ever released. We've journeyed through haunted hospitals, abandoned asylums, and derelict space stations. We've confronted vengeful spirits, grotesque creatures, and our own inner demons. Thank you for joining me on this terrifying adventure. And remember, if you ever find yourself feeling brave, these games are waiting to test your limits. Thanks for joining us on this spooky journey through the scariest games ever released. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more gaming content. Was your favorite scary game on this list? Let me know in the comments. I'm the classic and retro gamer. Stay spooky.